Hi, my name is Ale, and in this video we will be recreating Instagram's famous like button using SwiftUI. We will be using a scale effect to recreate the animation that occurs when the heart button is tapped. We're going to start by defining a structure that will hold our, co our custom heart button view. This structure will have a property called isLight, which is uh, binding to a boolean variable that will tell us whether the button sh should be in the liked or the unliked state. struct heart button, which will be a view, we're first going to add the is liked property at binding var is liked, which is a boolean. Now we're going to add the body of our view, var body. And here we're going to add the button itself, button action. We can leave the action empty for now. And for the label, we're going to use an image. And we're going to be using the system images, so we can use the system name parameter. Now, the name of the image will depend on whether our button is in the liked or unliked state. So if the button is liked, we want the heart to be filled, but if the button is unliked, we want it to be empty. So we're going to check is liked, and if that's true, we're going to use heart.fill, and otherwise we're going to be using the heart image. Now we're going to make our image resizable so that we can change its size. For this tutorial, we need to make sure that the aspect ratio is fit. And we're going to be changing the size to be 100. So we can use frame with a width of 100. And finally, we're going to change the color of this heart. And this will also depend on the liked state. So if the button is liked, then it should be red and otherwise we will leave it gray. So we're going to use the foreground color modifier. And again, we can check whether is liked is true. And if this is true, then we're going to use the red color. And otherwise we're going to use the gray color. Now, during our action, what we want to do is change the value of this is liked state so that it goes from true to false or from false to true. To do this, we're just going to have to do self dot is liked dot toggle. And this will change the value of the is liked variable. So let's go ahead and create one of these buttons inside our main app. We can get rid of this text and we're first going to define our heart button and we need a binding to a boolean so we can add that property here at the top at state private var is liked and we can just start this out as false to use it as a binding what we'll do is at the dollar sign and then is liked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text that will change depending on the status of our heart button. So I'm going to embed our heart button in a vertical stack. You can use the command key on the keyboard and then click heart button and select embed in vstack. And now what I'm going to do is add a text element that will be above our button. And its text will depend on the value of is liked. So if is liked is equal to true, then the string will say liked, and otherwise it will say unliked. So let's go ahead and run our app to see how our button looks. So we have our button, and since right now it's in the unliked state, we see that it's empty and the string says unliked. And if we tap it, 
we see that it changes to the red color and the string also changes. Now that our button is working, we're going to add a slight animation so that the size of the heart changes whenever you tap the button. So let's go back to our code. And inside our heart button structure, we're going to add three properties that we're going to need to execute this animation. First, we're going to define the duration of the animation. And this is going to be a double with a value of 0 0.1 private let animation duration which is of type double and will be equal to 0 0.1 now we're going to add the scale of the animation so if the button goes from the unliked to the liked state our heart will become a little bigger and if the button goes from the liked to the unliked state our heart will become a little smaller so let's define our animation scale here, private var animation scale, which is of type CG float. And this will be a computed property that will depend on the value of is liked. If is liked is true, then we want our scale to be 0.7 and otherwise we want our scale to be 1.3. Finally, we're going to add one more property, which will tell us whether our animation should be executing. And this is a state variable. Add state private var animate. And initially, this will be false. So now that we have these properties, let's, act, let's actually execute the animation. What we're first going to do is below our button, we're going to use a scale effect to produce the resizing of our button. The scale effect. And here, what we're going to use is we're going to provide a scale. Now, if the animate variable is false, then we don't want the scale to change. In this case, our scale will be 1. Now, if the animate variable is true, then we want our scale to be whatever animation scale gives us. So, animate, if that's true, then we will use animation scale, or otherwise, our scale will just be one. Now, we're gonna change the animation type with the animation modifier, and here I'm gonna use an is in animation, which will have a duration of animation duration, which we defined earlier. Finally, what we have to do to actually execute this animation is make sure that the animate variable becomes true at some point. And this should happen whenever the button is tapped. So this will be inside our button's action. The first thing we're gonna do is convert the animate variable to true so we can call self.animate is equal to true. And then after 0.1 seconds, then we want to toggle the state of is liked and we want to change the value of animate back to false. To do this, what we're going to do is use a dispatch queue to execute some action after the animation duration time has happened. So we're going to add dispatch queue dot main dot async after and the deadline will be now plus the animation duration self dot animation duration and for the execute parameter what we're first going to do is switch animate back to false and we're going to toggle the value of is light. So let's go ahead and run our app and see how it looks. So we have our button and now if we tap it we should see a slight scaling animation. As you can see when the button goes to the liked state the size increases a little and then goes back to its original size and if you go to the unliked state the size of the heart reduces a little and then it goes back to its original size.
So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about iOS app development, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos very soon.